Hello, much love. This is Chrysanthemum from Amaya's Grandma 2008. I want to. Oh, my crazy camera. I want to respond to your video and to your question about do you have somebody in your life that is negative or that does some way out crazy stuff like what you were just talking about. I'm going to try to stay as calm as possible because you were very super calm on your video. Yes, I will say yes, I've had at least two people in my life and one person you can't get rid of. I can't get rid of because it's one of them is my sister. Oh my God, I could tell you stories of just being younger and she's 10 months younger than me and just the things that she has done which is so to me very evil and I've actually even though I know you shouldn't talk to your kids by to my kids are grown you know had conversations with my children about you know how my sister does things that are just way out um I can remember when I was in high school I used to go out with a guy I really liked this guy um to the point where he had even asked me to marry him while we were in high school mm -hmm. and to find out that my sister went behind my back and slept with this guy yeah I'm just like cool with him even to this day I'll speak but I'm I, I wasn't like cool with him after that happened and then he's just I mean very successful person she's very successful but just the moral thing and then wow what killed me was later on in life I met him I saw him again and he started telling me problems he was having with his marriage, which is not to my sister, but with his marriage. And I just would think the whole time, like, wow, you don't think about the things you did back when we were high school. You don't think that type of stuff will come back to bite you in the ass. So that's one of the things that I can tell you a multitude of things. I can't get rid of my sister. The other one is I had a friend. Um, and I was married to my first husband. I've only been married twice. Anyway, I, and I was going to leave my first husband. So I was seeing this other guy who now is my husband now, my second husband. And we would go over to her house. One particular time, our friend, man, she came into her, like, den and had on just, like, a shirt. And <laughs> was just standing there talking. And so... My husband just like, my husband now, he was like the guy I was going out with or whatever. Then he just politely got up, walked out, and then he called me on my cell phone, you know, after he left. And he was just like, that's not your friend. He was like, that is not your friend because a friend would not come into that room where she already knew we were and just have on a shirt. And he said, did you notice that she bent over? And I didn't even notice that. So, you know, he was just like, that is not your friend. So, she is not my friend. She's just an acquaintance. I speak to her maybe once every couple of years. And I saw her on Facebook. So, I talked to her for like one time since last year. Uh, yeah, and that was like, me and my husband have been married now for 12 years. So, that was at least like 12 or 13 years ago. So, yeah. Only thing I can tell to a person like that is like if it's someone in your family, there's nothing really you can do about it. Just like deal with them like with a ten foot pole. But if it's somebody that's not in your family, you can just kick rocks. <laughs> you know, just try to be as as nice as possible. But you can't just let somebody just walk all over you or be super negative with you. You have to try to hell in this world today you got to try to have the most positive input that you can have for your for your mind for you to have peace you have to try to stay away from people like that 
So, you know, that's all I have to say. And thank you for letting me respond to your video. Bye-bye.